It was straight. Good practice. Good practice? Are you yeah. Pleased with where you're at right now? Yeah, it was all good. Where do you feel you need the most improving? Um, well, you say where I need to improve or where I yeah. feel like I'm improving? Um, just basically just route running, uh, finishing plays, and uh, becoming more of a, a better practice player. We were out here the other night. You guys were taking turns on the, the machine out there trying to catch different passes. Is that part of that camaraderie that you guys are building as well as, you know, making yourselves better in the process? Oh, yes, sir. Um, and this, like this, this stage right now, receivers-wise, we want to get better as a group. So we just challenge each other to put each other in, like, different, I guess, uh, perspectives and try to like learn how to put use your body in different ways and learn how to catch the ball. So and we want to get better as a whole. So like as a whole, as one, we all can look good. So we work together. How do you feel like the offense performed in today's scrimmage? Uh, I, I, I feel like we, we could improve more. Um, it's always room to improve, and um, I feel like we, we uh, start off a little slow, but we finished a little strong here and there. But it's just a lot a lot more improved. We're going to turn on the film and just look at it and just trying to find where where can we improve at. What do you think of the biggest things you guys are going to need to work on when you come back from spring break? Mostly just staying focused. Uh, we, I, I just felt like we wasn't focused going in like throughout the whole drive. Just, just like a turn down. Like if anything just happened, uh, we just got to bring that spark back. I just think, I just think when we come back, we just need to stay consistent and just be focused. Every time you talk to to Dabo or to Jeff Scott, they say that you're one of the leaders out there. Is that something you know with Mike and take on that that you said, hey, I want to take over that. That responsibility and that job. Uh, yes, sir. Um, just being, just being a quarterback. Um, just from my previous experiences, I'm just knowing, just having that leadership role is just something that I'm just used to, and something that I just want to uh, show my team that I am. And I just know with me being out there and my skill set and showing them what I can do, um, leading them is like a best way, and it makes me feel good as a person. So. Are there other guys on the offense that you see are stepping up as leaders this spring? Yeah, uh, all our quarterbacks are stepping up. You see Ray Ray stepping up. You, uh, you got Maverick Morris. You got Mitch Hyde. You got um, just all the running backs. And intentionally, I, I think everybody's really stepping up because they see that role that we need everybody to play. It's not just the first five or six, seven, eight people. We need everybody, even backups including. So now just to have everybody in that like Zoom focus and everybody know what's going on is a good thing. Do you ever sit back and think about how far you've come since you got here? Um, I mean, yeah, I do everything from time to time, but I just want to keep on bettering myself every day, really. Let the past be the past and just make up for the future. How do you feel you're doing from a technical standpoint, some things you're doing good at and some, obviously some things you need to improve on? And how, give us, describe us the player of Dion. Um, really just, uh, main, main thing I'm really just trying to work on is just finishing my plays and uh, becoming a, a more efficient route runner. Um, just working on just little things, just techniques, coming off of the ball, being physical at a point of attack, just little things. I always, always find something that I just need to improve on every day I watch film. So every day I'm, I'm not 100%. I'm not trying to be 100%. I just want to be a better person than I was yesterday. That's it. Are you playing more than I, man? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, particularly more than I, man. But I'm moving around throughout the whole offense. So you can see me anyway. Is that cross training with the nine, the five, the seven? Is that beneficial for guys? Uh, yes, it is. It's, it's more film out there to the scouts that they can see that you can move around, and that's more just for, I guess, for that player just to know that you can move around the offense and know the whole playbook and know what everybody's doing. That's a good thing. One of the great things Mike was able to do was that back shoulder throw at that nine man spot. Is that something that, that you work on with these quarterbacks that, that you're constantly trying to perfect? Uh, that's just intentionally. We we practice on back shoulder throws just, just for the fun of it. I mean, it's just something that's just part of our offense and it's just something that everybody just need to be capable of know how to do. And Mike was great at it and I'm great at it. All our receivers are good at it because, I mean, we practice consistently. Any one of the quarterbacks stand out in your mind? Uh, really, all of them standing out. I, I think really potentially all of them had a good day. Everyone have their ups and downs, but really I see like a, a consistent movement out of all of them, really. All of them stepping, stepping up and doing good. Do you see one leader coming out of that? Uh, I mean, as of right now, not really. The film will tell, tell most of it um, that everyone is really improving. And I mean, I, I'm not in the quarterback's meeting room right now. I'm just worried about my segment. But as from what I can see and from throwing with all of them, all of them looking nice. They've touched much with Mike and Tay and those guys. And you've kind of become a leader. And you kind of kept in touch with them this spring, giving you advice. Yeah, I mean, they, you know, they're always just like big brothers to me. And just really having them around and coming back and really see them watching me as just the leader now, even though I was behind them, them giving me tips on what I need to work on, just on off-season standpoints of telling me what I need to get better on and just telling me, hey, the sky's limit for me, and then I just wish the best for them. How valuable is that feedback from them on what you can do and just help the team? Uh, man, it just means a lot. Uh, it just gave me more hope and a desire just to pursue more for this team. Um, got a lot of goals for here just for this upcoming season. Uh, I know we got a lot of expectations that people want us to hold up to, and we just really just want to 
just go out there and just play like the regular Clemson like we normally do. And that's, that's what we're known for. Talking about that leadership role that you got from uh, some of the older guys, are, any, are there any of the younger guys that can be considered your pro's age that you're pouring into? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, behind me, I got DeAndre Overton uh, stepping up real good, uh, Cornell Powell, you got TJ Chase, all just may maybe just the younger guys in the receiver room because I'm mostly around them more and really just trying to embrace them to have that leadership role because when they come in, because we're going to need everybody to play. So just really installing them and just really getting them ready for that leadership role. And I see a lot of things for them like coming out of big just on the practice field. So. How much does that competition drive you guys? I mean, you got so many guys here that are four-star guys, five-star guys. Do you guys kind of make each all better? Actually, that's a good thing that we got so many people that's really comp competitive, and that's a like that's just a good thing that makes the uh, next person better. So really, um, practice is fun. I, I see this fun because there's so much competition on the defensive side. Everybody is just making it a competitive, and that's the good thing that makes the game way easier. Do you guys do anything to build the? Camaraderie between the guys, <laughs> man. Just, just being us. Um, me and Ray, Ray, we from Florida, guys. We, we gonna, we gonna, we take practice very serious, and we just, we have fun out here. And just, I guess, having fun is just bringing that competition level, just bring the whole energy into practice. You know, deepest guys pick it up. Christian is another guy that just picks it up and just has fun out there. It's, it's not just to, just to beat up on each other like that. It's just having fun and just competing. That's all what football is about, really. Are you a goal setter? Yes. What are yeah. your goals for the spring and then for the season ahead? Um, really, just uh, right, so right now, I got my goals done for the uh, for the season already. I just can't tell y'all yet. But I mean, <laughs> for spring, it's just mostly just working on just becoming a better route runner and being physical and working on just like blocking techniques and stuff like that. Just really just trying to get myself better, uh, just like route running wise, just becoming a more poised receiver instead of just stop just being a deep threat. I just want to be more of a poised receiver. So do you see that much of a drop off? Like Quarterbacks are throwing the ball. I mean, you know, just like Sean Russell last year, you, you got you said all four quarterbacks are doing pretty good. I mean, is there a drop off from when you're catching where you're catching the ball, ball placement? I mean, it's just different. Uh, every quarterback has a different type of throw. Some some quarterbacks come with some touches, some come with not. Um, it's just really just knowing how just how to use, learn how to put your body in different situations of really trying to adjust to a ball. Every quarterback has their different type of throwing motions and all that. But I mean, I'm comfortable with all four of them. I throw with them after practice all the time just to get like just that rhythm. That's all you really need to do. Just get that that chemistry with them.